So I was watching the uh, the May Day protest yesterday. Oh, I want to pause it there for a second. I, so I was I was watching the May Day protest. This was in Olympia, Washington. Olympia is the uh, capital of Washington State. And you're going to see some very remarkable things. Before I start, I just want to show you. These people use uh, shields that are made out of like heavy heavy duty garbage cans or just garbage cans. Look how nicely they're made. Look at this. Per Imagine if you had to cut a garbage can into thirds. Look at that. It's nearly a perfect edge. How do you do that with a pair of tin snips or a table saw? These brand new, look, the, these, these, uh, these screws, washers, not, they, they've never been, they've, and nuts, they've never been used before. It's almost like they're really organized. So anyway, these, uh, this is a, this is a black block. This is a tactic you... Oh, look at her. What a fucking disgrace. Oh, you nasty. Um, so uh, this is a this is called the Black Block. This is a tactic used by Antifa, which is short for the anti-fascist movement. When in reality, they are the biggest fascists you'll ever come across. These are the people who will use violence and property destruction to get what they want. And they are all lily white, upper middle class, privileged cunts who think that they are anarcho-communists or anarcho-syndicalists. No, they're just virtue signaling cunts. So here they are, camped out in front of a local business. They've been causing trouble all day. Now, at this point, all the Trump supporters have gone home because the police told them to. Because there was violence earlier, but no, they didn't leave. Let's see what happens. Let's run this forward a little bit. Look at them leave their trash behind. Look at that. Just leaving their shit everywhere. No respect for the, for, the, for the people in the community or where they live. Nah. Let's just walk somewhere else and leave our shit everywhere. And as you might imagine, that got the people who are in this local community a little bit upset. Be like, hey, we live here and you're leaving your shit all over our streets. And that's how this all begins. Let's hear what the people of Olympia have to say about that. Yo, clean up your trash! It's our home! Do these look like Trump supporters to you? No. These are people who live here, literally here, as some of them are identifying themselves as homeless people. And these little privileged, upper middle class cunts are shitting all over where they live. They don't like that. I can understand why. So they yell, haven't you ever seen a protest? Hey, don't you understand, people? No, 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 we know better. We're here to help you. We're protesting for you, you guys, the working class, the downtrodden, the homeless. No, no, no. Yeah, we're just protesting, and we have to fuck up your shit. This is what we do. How do they respond to this? Uh, we'll just push it towards the curb a little bit. Fucking half-assed effort. How do they respond? That now, at this point, you would think, hey, all the people who live here, you know, they're like mad. Maybe we should go home. Maybe we should call it a day. All the Trump supporters went home already. Let's just go home. You think that's what happened? No. No, 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 no. First, they will start taunting them. And then they escalate. Yeah. Let's pepper spray. Yeah. Antifa just pepper sprayed the people who live here. Yeah. 
Yep, the people have had enough. You litter all over our city. You refuse to take up our pick up our shit when we tell you uh, when you when they when they tell you to. And what how do, how does Antifa respond? They pepper spray them. And they call themselves anti-fascists. No, these are the fucking fascists. Fucking cunts. Let's run it forwards a little. They left them in the street, and some of the I just want to. I just want to show you. By the way, great job, KRO, with the reporting. These, these are the people who live here. These are normal people, and they are sick of the shit. Then they started throwing things at each other. Then the police moved in and started using uh, some pepper spray. They started using uh, rubber bullets. Now, the police, by the way, didn't use pepper spray. They were using smoke bombs. That's why they're. That's why their uh, smoke was white. And the smoke that came from the Antifa was, um, which we call orange. Things were going to turn very violent very quickly. That's when the police moved in. Olympia police, you can see right here, had been, had had them all boxed in here in the downtown area. On Let me run it forwards a little bit. Time, very angry. And that's what led to what, where we are right now. We pick up litter on our streets here. Don't leave it there. And the marches started to, there started to be a verbal exchange. You know exactly who these people are just by looking at them. These are the normal people who live down here. And they're tired of this shit. Then what happened was that pepper spray came out, and that's what got everybody really just started coming toward and on the, to the north of us. This is uh, we're going west here. So here's where things escalate because they don't have the fucking sense to leave yet. And now that we have people people from not from the marchers but people from the street who are throwing rocks at the at the marchers this is this is part of the group that, that had uh, had an encounter a confrontation with them on the corner this is part of the group that went toward them that caused the police to move in We're tired there was a the lot of anger with that crowd a lot we of need street people so those are people you, you hear that, that gentleman right there these are people who are they're fucking tired of it and they want them to leave and they want them to not come back so at this point if, if, if you're supposedly a communist so on a, on a day that is supposed to be for the working class and you have the working class you have the proletariat coming out and throwing rocks at you it's time for a little self-reflection don't you think it's time to maybe, like, hey, let's reconsider what we're doing here. Let's go. Let's think about this. Let's regroup. Let's talk. Nope. They started by uh, pepper spraying the homeless people. Now they will throw rocks and fight with the homeless people. Really good optics, guys. Really good. You fucking idiots. Look at you. You're fucking joke. They're actually not. The police are just waiting there. Which is kind of smart, I guess, well, in retrospect, because I, I guess none of these people got hurt. They're the police you can see back there. They're, I think the police are basically just saying, because the police know who these people are. They see them every day. Okay, if you live on the street, the, poli the police see who you are every day. They know who you are. And what they're doing now is definitely illegal. But the police are saying, yeah, let's let, these, let's let the people send a message here. Because they know exactly who they are. Let's let the people give Antifa a message that they're not fucking wanted here. Nobody likes them. And look, they've done it. They've driven them back. This is incredible. So they've driven them back. What I want you to listen to now is a great interview with one of these people who I think speaks very, very well for the group. And 
It's not clear why they're waiting right now. Uh, the only thing I can guess is that they are waiting to get some backup here because they don't want to uh, uh, go into a confrontation out man. There are much fewer police than there are protesters and marchers here at this point and the police we see some police starting to move in and you can see the group here moving off let me see, let me see if i can talk with one of these sir sir hey, so we're live on cairo can i ask your name brian brian what let's go so uh, why the anger toward these, these guys? see what it is it, it's these guys coming out in may day and they want to do it and all of all of our street people and home people Downtown Olympia are tired of that, where they come to U.S. Bank, break out windows, they take out small businesses, break out our business. Because I work for uh, Fishtail, Oops. but uh, we're tired of them breaking our stuff, and it's like it's not allowed. Well, it shouldn't be allowed, but they happen that way. Did you and think things would turn violent like they have? I didn't think it was going to happen that way, but they started it, and actually the street people actually came alive and took care of the situation. Okay, I'm impressed. For, thanks for speaking with us. Well, right now the, the police are... Uh, you couldn't have a, a better representative of the working class people in this community. Antifa is a fraud. They claim to be for these people, Yet they just pepper sprayed and got into a street fight with them and lost. Because these are upper middle class, soft. They don't know how to fight. They're soft. They're weak. Bravo. Bravo. Of course, now that they were just humiliated, they're going to want to get in their last licks, which they're about to do. Let's run this forward a little bit. Walking away. It doesn't look like they're walking away as a group, even. Uh, although they seem to be taking. The police are. Uh, marchers are heading south. See what happens from here. I don't see any police on the other side of that group of marchers, so it's not clear what's going to happen. Just that one group that seems to be. The rock throwing again. There they go. Yay, let's smash up the local businesses. Nice, guys. Real fucking nice. This is where these people have to work. Now they're starting to break out windows. They're starting to... Look at them riot. Going after windows in the bank. Who's going to have to clean that up? And that's making a lot of people on the street angry. A lot of people are yelling at Not the owner. The janitor who has to deal with the fucking broken glass everywhere. All these people in their cars are fucking terrified. They're just trying to get home from work. Yep. This is who they are, and this is what they do, and this is a problem for the left. I'm gonna run it forward a minute. So now the police are finally chasing them out, and we can look at some of the damage. This is downtown Olympia. Police have demonstrators dressed in black hoodies on the move after windows have been broken in the State Street area, Capitol Way of Olympia. As we continue to follow the May Day, what has become a May Day riot. Oh, look at this. There you What's this? Glass from all the oh, it's a local clothing store. Oh, that's nice. Good optics, guys. Yeah, before the broken Good window, optics. Now we're on banks and now that looks to be they don't believe in anything. A locally owned store, not much of a political message attached to and that. And they've gone after the Starbucks here. Oh, Starbucks, and Kevin, it looks like all of the businesses down this? there are, are closed. Was that in preparation? This is uh, in what happens for, uh, when you have a bunch of privileged 19 to 22 year old 
kids going to college, taking social sciences, women's studies, cultural studies, they get indoctrinated by far left ideological professors and they believe this shit. Listen, they're cunts, but they're victims too. I fell into this shit at one point in my life. I know exactly what they, I, I know exactly what they're being taught. Let's take a look at who they are. Who got arrested in Olympia last night? Let's go pull up the old police blotter. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look who we're, to, look who we're dealing with here. Now, I'm not going to assume this person's gender because I see some five o'clock shadow. Here we have a radical feminist. I don't know. Uh, I don't know about you. You, jeez. Ugh. Very confused. Now, this guy does not look like he would fit in with Antifa at all. And that's not just because it looks like he's lived a tough street life, but because notice everyone else is wearing black except for him. This man is not part of Antifa. I hate to tell you, buddy. None of the feminists will fuck you. You beta ass pussy. These two guys here, I would not expect to be as a part of a black box, but they are. Okay. You are very confused. Kenny G has really sunk to a new low, I have to say. Yes, another beta male. Classic, classic socialist. You are a total disgrace. I'm assuming you're male and you're a fucking disgrace. This guy also does not fit in because he is not wearing black. So I'm going to assume this is not, this man is not a part of Antifa. I assume you are upset because your parents really wanted to, you to get into a good engineering program and he didn't make it. So now you're taking women's studies. See what happens? You, honey, daddy is going to continue to ignore you. This is not the attention you want from daddy. It's not going to help. You are a fucking monster. Look at you. Disgusting. Who shaves their eyebrows like that? It looks like it looks like you have two fucking bugs crawling across your face. You're disgusting. Now, this could either be feminism or meth. It's hard to say. This is just feminism. You are a fucking disgrace. And you look like a water balloon. You are a total fucking disgrace. This is Antifa. This is who they are. Look at them. Privileged, white, upper, middle class, soft, weak. And this is what they believe in. This is how they have been indoctrinated. This is what's going on in universities all over America, spewing this hateful, nonsense drivel that is ruining these kids' lives. And no one is speaking out against them. No one is calling them out by their name. This is Antifa. This is the black bloc. And this is a problem for the left. Everybody sees what they're doing. Everybody sees that they are shutting down free speech. When Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders are saying it's wrong to shut down a free speech speech by Ann Coulter, you know you have you you probably need to take a look at yourself when your fucking heroes are telling you that you're wrong but they still don't call them out by name so I will this is antifa and this is a problem for the left this is making the left look very very bad and no one will solve this problem on the right because why would they it is a problem for the left and something must be done about them. And the only people who are going to do that successfully are rational, moderate people on the left who are going to get these people out of their fucking movement because right now they've fucking taken over it. What will be done about them? Well, if you identify yourself as liberal, that's really up to you, isn't it? <laughs> 